Hi, my name is Thomas Morris, and this is my action research plan. The problem that I'm looking to solve is childhood obesity in Louisiana. Louisiana is ranked seventh in the, in the nation in obesity, with 39% of adults being obese. And I feel like a big reason for that is it starts at the elementary school level with healthy life habits and physical fitness not being a priority. Some of the causes I think for that are a lack of resources. And by that, I could mean not having a gym, not having equipment. And if you don't have a gym, then you have to go outside, which means you have to rely on the weather also. So if it's raining, you can't go outside. If it's too hot, you can't go outside. And even if it's too cold, you can't go outside. So that hinders what you can do. And another issue that I've noticed as a teacher myself is students not always participating. And I feel like a big reason for that, one is social media, where because students have access to social media at a much earlier age than in the, in the past. And that allows for students to see things on social media and they see other people doing things and they say, hey, I don't look like that when I do this, so I must be doing it wrong, even though social media isn't reality. So, but they don't know that. So the students see that and they, they lose some confidence and also doing things in front of people can be, you know, can cause pressure. And I know students don't like to look bad in front of people. So instead of doing something and messing up, they just decide, well, I just won't try at all, which carries on from the elementary level as you go on in school where you're not gonna try because you're not gonna get any better if you don't try. So I feel like that increases the obesity rate. So my plan to tackle this, one, you need to create a positive, environment. A positive environment would mean where a student can do something and they can, they can mess up at it and they don't have to worry about students saying mean comments. They don't have to worry about, you know, feeling embarrassed. Everyone should be positive and that starts with the teacher setting expectations of how the classroom should be and that's something you need to do at the beginning of school. To give you an example of a positive environment, I have a short video to show you of me teaching. And in the video, I want you to notice how supportive all the students are and how happy everyone is participating. All right, I want you to notice how I made sure everyone was cheering each student's name and they cheer when they made it, they cheer when they missed. And, and you see everyone was happy and, and that to me is an example of a positive learning environment. So back, back to the PowerPoint. The, the next plan I have would be group exercises. By group exercises, I mean like a teacher can get in front of the class and they have to mirror the teacher doing a dance or something like that. And I say that's a good thing to promote uh, physical fitness and participation because 
as a student, you're not, when you're doing it, you're not looking at anyone else doing it. You're worrying about yourself. You're worrying about making sure you're doing whatever dance that the teacher's doing and make sure, making sure you're doing that right. And that also solves an issue of a lack of resources because that's something that you can do in a classroom. And if you have internet access, then you have YouTube that you could use to find, like you could use like the cha-cha slide or something like that, a little dance like that, YMCA, you know, sort, sort of things where the class is involved. But but if you're a bad dancer, it doesn't matter because everyone else, because everybody else is dancing on their own. So you wouldn't have to worry about that. So that's, that's one way to tackle the lack of resources and increased participation. And my last thing is individual activities. Now, this, this could mean like if you give everybody a basketball and they have to practice dribbling by themselves. And, and you know, they're not dribbling in front of everyone, they're dribbling by themselves. So that way they can work on their own. And another advantage of that is the teacher can, can maneuver throughout the class and give feedback without the student having to hear, you know, another student's feedback. Because, you know, no one likes being corrected in front of everyone. So I have another video to give you an example of how successful that can be. Skip up a little bit. So you see, I gave all, every student that had their own ball in a cup. I can go around to each student and show them how to do it. I can give each student feedback that they need. You know, they like getting that positive reinforcement when they do something good. They like knowing what, what they're doing wrong too, but they don't like, you know, that happening in front of everyone. So, as you, you see me moving around, you see everyone doing it by themselves. You know, they, they might be looking at each other, but they're not looking at each other going, oh, hey, you stink. So, it's a good environment, and this is something where everyone's active and improving on some skills. You see how I'm, I'm making my way around to each part, each part of the classroom. All right, back back to the PowerPoint. Okay. And the, the, the way that you can measure if this is making an impact, and the way that I did it, is I did an obstacle course in the beginning of, this, of the year, and I did the same obstacle course at the end of the year. And this let me, you know, I got to see how they did, and I got to uh, track improvement. So, you know, here's everyone participating in it. They're, they're, they're hopping. They, we have a, a re relay race, you know, tossing the bean bag. And I can, I, I would track and see who, who landed the bean bag into the box the first time. And I could, and I was able to record how many, how many people did it the second time. And I timed the course as well. So I was able to see how fast the students are able to go through it. So that's a good way to, to measure growth and to see if it's working or not, you know, when it comes to students participating and students getting better cause, and growing. Cause that's the main thing that we need to focus on. In conclusion, I feel like physical fitness is a big part of education because not, not only is it important for your health, I feel like socially it helps as well because after you do something physical or you, you do a sport, you play a game, if you do well, you're excited and, and you know people are more likely to say, hey, you did a good job and it, it helps you make friends. And all, all that can can lead to better life choices and healthier, just a healthier lifestyle. That concludes my action research plan.